All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Right, in this episode, I want to get the exhaust sorted on this C20 Letter Nova. Now, this is a Calibra turbo downpipe. It's two and a quarter inch, but it's been adapted quite badly here. So my plan is I need to cut it here, add some 45s, and then connect it up to the existing Nova system. So before I can do anything, unfortunately, I've had to repair this elbow. I didn't realize that the threads were missing on one side. So I'm tapping it out to an M10 instead of an M8. And I've got a nice bolt, which is the same length as the original. So I put a little tack weld there just so that'll stop at that point. So it can't screw in any further. So the tension should be correct on the spring. With a tap like this, you just want to take your time backwards and forwards. Don't try and do it all at once because you'll snap it. And that should now screw into that. Beautiful. So that is problem number one sorted. The next issue is I need to get that to fit that. I'm using a trusty battery operated grinder with a one millimeter cutting disc. It makes light work with a stainless steel bottom. So since I've had this TIG welder, I've had mixed success. So I've had some advice from a few people. Um, I'm going to have a go just TIGging this bit of stainless to this bit of stainless. Now this is the reducer to make the cleaver down part fit the 2 inch Nova system. I think in the past I haven't cleaned the metal up well enough. So I wire wheeled and degreased everything first. I then just took my time and tried not to dip tungsten. And that's not an innuendo. The first weld came out pretty well and it gave me the confidence to carry on. That's not too bad that bit. So practice makes perfect. I'm just going to keep having a go see what I can do. So I've just cleaned this with a bit of acetone and now I'm going to have a go just welding this flexi to the reducer. The machine is set to 45 amps DC and we're using a 1.6 millimeter red tungsten with pure argon. Absolutely thrilled with that. I think that's come out pretty good to be fair. I've just done the other side too. So yeah, not bad actually. And there we go, guys. Obviously, I need to practice a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think it's come out too bad. Top bit's not the best, if I'm honest. Now I've done that bit. So I might grind this top bit back off and just do it again. But yeah, overall, pretty damn happy. Right. With a modified turbocharged car, especially an older car like this, I would recommend fitting a wide band oxygen sensor. Now that's basically a high-end oxygen sensor what reads fairly good range, so it can detect if the car's running rich or lean, essentially. It's got a gauge on the dash and it'll tell you. Now, obviously, if the car runs lean, it doesn't have to run lean for very long, it could melt the piston very easily. So it's just a good safety device. Now, on a turbocharged car, they recommend fitting it about 30 centimeters from the turbine housing. So I'm gonna try and fit it past the sump. And it also needs to be minimum 10 degrees up. So we're gonna try and do that as well. Let's have a look. Right, so I've had a quick look and I think the best place to put the sensor is around here. Not quite a 30 centimeters from the down part, but it's very, very close. Also, plenty of room to point it outwards. I was gonna put it near the dry shaft, but there's not a lot of room. And I think if it's too close to the bottom of the sump, it's just exposed. So I think here is gonna be the best bet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna draw around the boss just so I know exactly where I want it. Now the boss was a few quid off eBay. It is stainless steel. And it's a lot easier than messing around doing it any other way. Just literally drill that out, weld this in, Bob's your uncle. So I'm just cutting off the unwanted part of the damp pipe in preparation for later. Nice clean cut. I'm just going to clean that up with a flat disc now and away we go. I use a cone cutter to drill a hole and then clean up the area with a flat disc. I want it to be spotless to aid welding in the new insert. And there we go guys, boom, all done. So I'm now going to have a go TIG welding this on. Again, the machine is set to 45 amps. This time I used less filler rod and tried just to melt the two pieces together to give a really smooth, nice weld. And there we go. I am pretty happy with that, if I'm honest. Don't think it's come out bad at all. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. A big thank you to Alex Darcy because he gave me some really good tips and helped me out a little bit on the way here because I was struggling with this TIG welder. 
So big thank you, mate. So guys, I'm just cutting some 45 degrees to bend the down pipe out of the way. And I thought I'd show you a little tip to cut straight. So if you use an old clamp like so, clamp it around the pipe, make sure it's nice and square. You can then use this as a guide for your one millimeter cutting disc to cut it out. And then once you've cut it out, you can go over the cut edge with a belt sander in the vise, just a normal woodwork belt sander, and that gives it a nice, flat, good finish. It's now time to butt weld the 45s together. I was quite worried about this. I've had very limited success in the past. It's far easier to weld overlapping joints, but with Alex's advice, it came out pretty good. So that is the 245 degrees welded to the downpipe. So this is going to wrap around the sump nicely. All I've got to do now is join the flexi to this and we are done. I'm pretty pleased with it though. I've never done any butt welding on stainless before. And I think it's come out pretty damn good. So I'm really happy. It's now time to bolt the downpipe back up. I'm using an Evo 7 boring gasket as it's the same size. And on a listed for the Cavalier Turbo for some reason. Once bolted up, I slide on the new flexi down the pipe. Mark where it joins up to the original system and cut the pipe down with a grinder. Again using a Jubilee clip to help me cut a nice straight line. The pipe is then cleaned up with a flap disc. I'm using a VAG style sliding clamp. They tend to come apart much easier than your normal U clamps. They offer a clean look and are readily available. I could have also used the V band but this was a cheaper option and it works just as well. Once happy with the fitment I tack the flex to the down pipe of the car. The ECU is unplugged to save any potential spikes. I then remove the down pipe to finish off the weld on the bench. My welding is improving with each pass, so I grind back the first weld I did and redo it. This time it looks much better. I then sand it all back and give the front section a coat of very high temperature silver. So there we go guys, the down pipe's made, it's a good size, two and a quarter inch going down to two inch, which would be suitable for this kind of power. Looks tidy, I'm pretty happy with it to say I've never done this before. So yeah, dead just, I'm going to fit it on the car and then we're done. Now it's finished, I can fit the new AGM wideband lamp sensor. This just screws up like a normal sensor, but reads the oxygen levels much better. I then bolt the down pipe for the final time and tighten up the clamp. And last off guys, now it's fitted, I'm just putting a little bracket here, which you can probably just see, just ties into the steering rack. It's just going to support the exhaust, make it nice and strong, stop, stop it sagging essentially. So that just needs TIG welding on there, it's a stainless steel bracket. No visibility is poor, so I do apologise. So guys, that's the downpipe back on, the wideband sensors back on, and also welded a bracket on the back of the downpipe just to support the flexi a little bit, you know, give it a little bit of extra strength. We don't want it to rattle around. So we're going to wrap the video up here. I think in next week's video, we're going to put the bumpers back on, the wings back on, and make it look like a Vauxhall Nova again. So stay tuned for more, and I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.